Days of August is set in a world that is run by a, a brutal police regime that is violent and cruel. Days of August follows two young men. One of them is a lower class revolutionary, more of a pacifist type. He's fighting for a peaceful revolution. He wants to overthrow the state because he understands that it's wrong, but he wants to do it in a way that is fair and that is just. And the other boy is named Godfrey. Godfrey is the child of an upper class bureaucrat slash military leader. He's rich. They live in a wealthy estate and they're in love with each other. And they're separated by this class structure. There's this huge dissonance between their lifestyles. As their stories sort of intertwine, there's some strain in their relationship that's caused by some of their characters, by some conflict. It's a story about redemption, about falling from grace, about what it means to be in love with someone who's completely different than you, and mostly about class structure and equality in a world that is ruled by a fascist government. I just think it's a really interesting story. There's so many characters with so much to them, which I really like about the script is like, even for something like relatively short, all the characters feel really fleshed out. I think the main focus we want to center on when creating these characters in this world is finding narratives that people can see themselves in and connect with. But obviously this is set in this dystopian alternate reality that's completely different from our own, but the characters, the struggles and the challenges that they face are I think ones that anybody can relate to. You know, it's about morality and identity and family and love and at the end of the day, all of these characters just want to find themselves in this seemingly confusing and uncompromising world. So I'm attending a UNCSA in North Carolina. That was what brought me to the connection with 1716, and it's been an amazing opportunity. It really is a team of young creatives that are so passionate about what they do. I love being on set with all these people. Everybody really brings something to the table, like to just come and, and do what they love alongside other people that do, are doing what they love. And really, it's just such an incredible environment because it's built from the people that are pursuing their passions. There's probably gonna be between 20 to 30 independent young filmmakers on this set. It's looking like principal photography for Days of August will last somewhere between 10 to 15 days, uh, sometime in mid to late May. This team has mostly been built through social media platforms. Through that, we've been very fortunate to get some really great opportunities to work with people from across the country. But at the end of the day, what we're looking for is not only talented and driven people, but we are also looking for team players and leaders as well. I think that's extremely important for setting out onto a production like this where nobody is being paid, each of us must be our own leader and must be able to empower one another. For each of the little various departments that are necessary to create a film, grip, electric, camera, wardrobe, hair and makeup, set design, locations, catering, transportation, the next few months will be so important leading up to May of 2022. This summer we are going to be putting into action all of those things that we're planning currently and we'll need to have spent all of that time, effort, and resources to get there, which is why we we're in such dire need of funding is because of, of those requirements that need to be met, those goals that need to be um, met.